Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure voice VLANs on a Cisco switch. But before we get into the configuration, let me talk about why we need voice VLANs. So there's three benefits that I'm going to talk about. So one is QoS. So by having a voice VLAN or separate VLAN for your voice traffic, you can apply QoS on that VLAN. So you can prioritize voice traffic over uh, data traffic. And number two is enhanced security. So by having a separate VLAN for your voice communication or traffic, uh, it would be harder for someone to eavesdrop to someone using that VLAN or to, to your voice communications. And number three is uh, efficient way of resources. So usually in a workstation, you have, you have a laptop or a computer and you have IP phone. So if you don't have voice VLAN or if you're not using this feature, you would you know connect your IP phone to, I mean, you would use two cables. One is for the IP phone and the other one is for the computer. By configuring voice VLANs, you only need uh, one cable from your from the wall jack going to the I, to the IP phone and you can connect your laptop or computer to the IP phone. These are the three major benefits that I want to discuss before we get into the configuration. Okay, so this is the topology that I'm going to use in this video. So let's say simple topology, just enough to discuss voice VLAN or to configure voice VLANs. We have one switch and we have IP phone and then the IP phone is connected to the switch and we have a computer and it's connected to the IP to the IP phone. So let me share my notes here. So I already discussed the benefits why we need voice VLANs and now we can get into the configurations. So this there's three prerequisites before you know you go ahead and configure your voice VLANs. So one is you have to ensure that you are going to use a access port, not a trunk port, because voice VLAN is not supported on uh, trunk ports. And number two is you have to enable QoS. Uh, you have a separate you know, VLAN for your uh, voice traffic. So it's better to, I mean, one of the major benefits is that uh, you can configure QoS on that VLAN. And number three is you have to, or you must enable CDP on the device port connected to the IP phone. So yeah, so let me do it this way. So let's go into the configuration. Of course, you have to make sure that, you know, the VLANs are configured before you apply it. I mean, before you configure the port to uh, on that VLAN. So let me get, let me get into this switch, into this Cisco switch here. If I do a show VLAN, we see that VLAN 300 and 700 are already configured as you can see here so now we can just configure the port that is connected to the ip phone which is pass ethernet 0 slash 1 so to do that go into the configuration mode and go into the port and actually i forgot to mention the or to configure the you know the qs and cdp but we can do that after we configure you know the uh, vlans so i'm going to just copy and paste these commands and done. So now we can get into the prerequisites, which is configure QoS on the global configuration. So we can do that by issuing this command here. And the other configuration or command is this here. So this needs to be configured under the port. I need to go back to that port and configure it. And of course you have to make sure that CDP is enabled on that port. By default, it's already enabled especially on Cisco you know, devices, but just to make sure it's better to explicitly enable it. And yeah, that's how you can configure voice VLAN on you know, the switch. And now let's go into the verification. So the verification command is show interface and the port name and switch port. So now we can see that, let me zoom in or make it bigger. So we can see that the operational mode is static. So it's not, it's not a trunk port. And we see that this is the data VLAN 300 workstation. That's the name. And the voice VLAN is 700. And there's another command that you can use, but it's not supported in, in this version of Packet Tracer. But on a real switch, uh, it will now show that you know this port is a trunk port, but it will give you you know the list of VLANs that are configured on the uh, ports, which which are these VLANs. 
300 and 700. So that's how you can configure voice VLANs on a Cisco switch. Okay, we discussed about the three major benefits of creating voice VLAN on a Cisco switch. So that was QoS, enhanced security, and efficient use of network resources. And we have also talked about the configuration of voice VLAN. So uh, there's three benefits. I mean, there's there's three prerequisites. So one is you have to, you know, you have to configure it on a access port. Number two is you have to enable QoS on the global configuration and under the port itself. And number three is you have to make sure that CDP is enabled on that port. And of course, we were able to, you know, configure voice VLAN. We were able to uh, verify it using uh, the commands that I showed you. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.